Uh, you're free to ask questions to them. We will ask Ms. Pia Gutierrez de la Cruz of abs -EVN to ask the first question. Hi, sir. Good evening. Sir, aside from the declaration of a public health emergency, do you have other specific directives to the IATF, particularly to the Department of Health, uh, on, uh, uh, particular to the Department of Health on addressing the COVID-19, sir? Yung COVID-19 is uh, here. It is uh, a contagion. It has not reached the level of an epidemic in our assessment. And neither is it pandemic. But uh, if you read and uh, view TV, you would notice that uh, it, the numbers of victims are galloping. Uh, in Italy, they say that they are uh, taking in 1,000 a day. Ang sa Pilipinas, wala pa naman masyado. May bagong yung sa ano? 24 plus the 24 lahat as of uh, la, uh, last count. But the infection, the transmission is going on. Kasi may mga bago eh, nadagdagan. 20 plus 4, it's 24. So that is how bad it is. So we have uh, decided to the glamour also the mayors uh, probably uh, much worried than we here so it is the consensus that uh, by the body that uh, classes will be suspended uh, in NCR national capital region lang uh, beginning tomorrow and it will end in March 14. The reason being that uh, parang tignan natin yung incubation period which is not uh, ordinarily like a normal virus three or four ito umabot ng 14 days so itong 14 days na ito one is to uh, keep safe the children. Second is that uh, we're going to establish a benchmark kung ilan pa ang madagdagan. At ngayon, kung itong walang klase, would it uh, somehow reduce the number of the victims? If we keep our children sequestered at home and study there and uh, the Secretary of uh, Education uh, she, uh, Briones has insisted that they should stay home but study and uh, we have uh, agreed that uh, DILG and, and Police will supervise us through one officers. Uh, so yung nandyan sa labas, mag ano, tanongin sila, magdadala ng libro. If they are there, they will be escorted to the parents and for the parents to be lectured on the responsibilities of being a parent. That the children should study even while they are detained in their respective homes. Walang klase. So, in all levels to. Mahirap kasi because the contamination of 10 years old is the same with... It, the, the, the virus is, uh, or the virus, is so virulent 
that uh, you know even a contact a mere uh, talking and handshaking uh, could set place you in jeopardy and we are trying to avoid uh, losses, especially lives. And that is why uh, we met uh, this afternoon. But after March 14, we will be meeting again to discuss the whether uh, we save lives and Yung itong ano ngayon, itong 24, gagaling to. Pero palagay ko, gagaling. Uh, you know, I'm just, I was just uh, shooting the breeze with everybody. Mas marami tayong mga Chinese na yung to the extent of creating a xenophobia. Sino is Chinese, phobia is parang pantakot sa insect. Do not do that. You know, there are Chinese, as there are Filipinos in China also affected. And we have something like 300,000 in Hong Kong. We do not have the accurate number of Filipinos working in the mainland China. So, yung irresponsible reporting, as if we are blaming everything against the Chinese. It, is, it should not be the case. For as long as we cannot stop travel, we cannot. We have to continue to open our doors. Baske na sanabi noon na while the virus was starting, because that is really the norm of conduct of the world today, travel. You have to travel abroad, business, especially that we have opened our doors uh, to investments. And what's bothering us is, uh, well, ganito na lang, we have the money to combat itong... COVID-19. We have, I assure you, we have the money and we can defeat that tang inang virus na yan. Saan ba nakatira yan? We can defeat it. Um, and this is not the first time that we have, uh, uh, well, in a way, in the past, I remember when I was young. There was this uh, flu, it was uh, also. Uh, alam mo, ang totoo niyan, there's a cleansing, not really a cleansing, but hindi magtanggal ito eh. So, ganang, the, the first one is the bubonic plague, the black death. It, it, merong maraming namatay. Then the yung Spanish flu. Just after or before World War One, mga sundalo ano patay lahat. And then we have this uh, thing. Uh, wala pa masyat tayong alam. But I'm sure that the scientists all over the world are working over time to look for the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Hindi ito magtatagal. Sir? Uh, I am confident that uh, we will uh, survive this uh, contagion. Sir, clarify ko lang yung sinabi nyo, COVID cases in the Philippines, uh, 24 na po. So we no, no. have yeah, four yes. new cases, sir, since this 24. afternoon. 24. There was one in... Uh, uh, West Krami, San Juan, uh, Santa Maria, Maria ba ito? Bulacan. And Project 6 of Quezon, Quezon City. One, one, one. Tag-isa sila. So, additional four, sir, since this afternoon. Um, sir, um, yun dun po sa, balik tayo, sir, dun sa suspension ng classes. So, kahit na wala silang pasok, they will be sequestered in their homes itong mga estudyante. 
Maybe because the Secretary of Justice is uh, insisting uh, uh, that they go to classes. And the only way that we can convince Secretary Brunes was that the, even if they are in school, uh, even if they are in, in, in their houses, they should be uh, studying. So we place the responsibility for that in the barangay captain. And the enforcement is, uh, would be the police. Because mm -hmm. the Truman officers, mm -hmm. so what the secretary wants really to happen is that uh, there is no stoppage in education. What about government work, sir, or work in the private sector? Are we looking at yung mga work from home scheme? Uh, you know, government has to function. We need all, at least now, we need all. Uh, yung sa immigration naman, tinanggal ko na yung na involved sa Pastilla. Pastillas? Pastillas. But there is a, kung wala na kayong question, any more question, I would like you to listen to Secretary Panelo. This has something to do with Pugo. And this has something to do with uh, uh, the other game supervised by Pagkor. I assure you, I assure you that every centavo nakikita injan sa mga gaming supervised by Pagkor will be, are, are accounted for. Walang corruption jan at hindi ako papayag. And do you know why? Well, Panelo will tell you uh, shortly. Pangako, just to give you an assurance, na yung pagkor na hindi niya uh, pinapalaro mo dyan kasi yung mga mayor, mga, mga, uh, nothing of the sort. I will not allow it. Now, there is a compelling reason kung wala namang iba at there is no uh, legal impediment I, I want it legalized if they, they if they can pass a law uh, about uh, Pogo, fine, go ahead. Supervise it by law. Hindi kami. Pero dyan sa Pogo, I allowed it because saan si saan si Panilo? <laughs> ah! Nandiyan ka pala. Sabi mo, hindi. Akala kasi nila pera yan na bulto-bulto. Hindi natin dito. I have told you before na may iba dito naging congressman. You can ask the congressman or any senator or congressman na may tinawagan ako ni isa in connection with the budget or whatever yes. or to ask for a favor. If you can produce one mouth to say that I violated the statement, I will tender my resignation tomorrow. Sinasabi, hindi ko style yan. Manilo will tell you why it is important. Now, Mr. President. Are you sleeping <clears throat> or are you? <laughs> Pogo is, <laughs> I already told them this morning, Mr. President, with respect to the Pogo, why it is important, why you will not suspend nor stop it. For one, we need the funds. For another, those issues raised against it, like criminality, laundering, there are agencies that are responsible for the enforcement of the laws. 
So they will have to take care of that. Moreover, these issues raised have been there for the longest of time. This issue was raised when the Koreans came. Lahat yan ay na-resolved na naman ng lahat ng mga agencies. Ang, ang dagdag ko dyan, hindi man nawawala yung kidnapping. When they were sa so many Koreans, they were kidnapping, they were kidnapping among themselves. Now it's the Chinese. Now we cannot bar Chinese nationals from entering the country because they allow us to enter China also and even work in Hong Kong. Sabi mo nagtatrabaho, and you know, yet that pogo have to have a check kayo earns uh, about 2 billion uh, a month from uh, uh, andyan mang yung sulat ni Dominguez. We are not justifying it. We are just saying that it is allowed because we need the funds. But yung kong speculation dyan sa mga senador na ginagamit ng laundering, we're, meron kami ano sa ano. We have a listing of the itong mga deposito nila. There is a report of uh, money laundering. Pero doon sa bangko mismo wala. Money laundering, ano ang ibayad mo? You are engaged in the business. You deposit money, you withdraw money. Tumatakbo yan. May manalo kasi may matalo. So kailangan nilang pera magbayad. That's it. If they want the payment to emanate from the Philippines, there's nothing that we can do. But kung sabihin mo yung money laundering na uh, hindi nakita ng yung regulators dyan, binigyan kami ng kopya. Hindi totoo. Ang aking tanging, ang tanging Ano ko lang dyan is the money. Uh, sayang eh, makatulong sa bayan. Eh, kagaya nga yung mga itong mga ganito. So, 2 billion answered ka agad. So, we have the money. But kung sabihin mo may isa dito sa amin, na pa, uh, pa, ewan ko yung mga polis, banta kayo sa akin. Pero sabihin ka mga kabinet, no? We do not even allow them to visit us here in Malacanan. Yung mga businessmen sa Pogo. And it is not true per hour that uh, it may be the uh, embassy of uh, in place in the embassy of China helping uh, Pogo workers to come in. That's not our business. Unless they are criminals. But they have, if they are here under the entry ex expedited by the Chinese embassy, but they are here to work as bona fide workers of Pogo, there's nothing to do about it. Unless you want to, I said, jeopardize the Filipinos in America. Makita mo naman yung mga Pilipino, hindi naman nila pinilit umuwi. But I would like to assure China and every, every nation that you do not have to be worried about a Filipino in your country. We are ready to extract Filipinos wherever they are 
when men need, when need, needed to to to, to come home. Magsabi ang Pilipino mag-uwi siya, baski isa lang siya. I have a great ship, a Philippine Navy ship station in Europe. And they can, every Filipino can make use of it. Kaya ako nilagayan doon eh. But uh, even with one passenger, this ship will sail. Kaya rin ko lang yung korap, walang korapsyon dyan sa... Wala kaming kinausap dyan, except pagkor. And I said, if you, if you have a recording, a telephone conversation, if you saw me talking to Andrea about money, then you are sorely mistaken. Yung opposition lang yan. Kasi kayo, magnanakaw. Kita mo yung mga train natin na coaches na hindi magamit kasi hindi magkasya. So we had to buy a new one. Do you know that? Nagbili sila ng, ng cars na hinila ng train na hindi magkasya sa ating rails. Hindi tukma yung ano. And the other rotten. Ano ang sabi ninyo sa amin? Sige daw. Give us a project where there is corruption. Pero marami na akong napano. Passive commission, wala na yan. Wala man rin nalinis. Ay, dyan ako nakatira sa likod, by the river. Pumasok sa sayo ko yung baho. Ano? Waste of humanity is floating there. Happily eaten by the tilapia. Alam mo, sabi ko, hindi kayo mo, kayo mga Pilipino, hindi kayo, hindi kayo mga Pilipino, sabi mo na na kayo makain. All you have to do is to buy a hook, line, and sinker. Manumano ka lang sa kamay. In one day, isang taro makuha mo dyan sa pasig na tilapia. <coughs> yun, corona yun. <laughs> Basta ganun na ubo. Mr. President, yeah. Henry Uri of DCRH will ask his question. <coughs> Mr. President, magandang gabi po sa inyo. May kahilingan po yung ating mga kababayan na malaman kung saang mga lugar nagpunta yung mga nagpositibo na po sa COVID-19 para po makaiwas sila alang-alang na rin sa kanilang kaligtasan. Ano po ang sagot ninyo rito, Mr. Oh, President? We have a successful tracing method. Uh, kaya lang, mahina yan. It does not mean to say na malaman mo yung pangalan niyang araw na yan, on that day you can trace him well. You have to, to eh, kung lumapit, if it's a traveling human being, lang dumaan lang dito, visiting uh, scenic and beautiful places, then eventually, makes the exit. May harapan tayo. <clears throat> In the same manner na ganun. Sa kanila kapag pumasok ang Pilipino na may contaminated rin. Huwag natin masyadong ano yun, China, China. Remember the Filipinos working there. That's the reason why I have a very passive mouth when I am talking about workers, especially in the Middle East. But in the Middle East, while I talk, my heart bleeds. Kaya papunta talaga ako sa Kuwait. I have to go to Kuwait. But yung kaso na pinatay yung maid, domestic helper, uh, they have arrested the couples and undergoing trial. And while undergoing trial, they are detained inside the jail. To me, that is good justice. 
And if they can follow it through in accordance with their laws, I would ask for I will ask for the maximum. I want their executioner to cut off the heads of those who are responsible for the death of the Filipinos. Another question, Mr. Pero President. Ako Apo, uh, paano po pinaghahandaan ng pamahalaan yung uh, posibleng pagtama po nito sa ating ekonomiya? May mga negos negosyong ah. malulugi, may mga trabahanteng mawawala po ng kabuhayan. Paano po ito pinaghahandaan ng gobyerno? We will have to adjust, I said. That's why you are saving money. For those who cannot talk and for those who are poor, na hindi sila makakain, I'm sure I will have something for them. Unahin ko talaga ang mahirap, yung hindi kumakain. Yung mga mayaman, okay na yan, hindi nila tayo kailangan. They do not need government to, to help them. The rich people can stay ungoverned. Hindi lang kailangan ng police, mga mayor dyan, mga senador, because the, on their own, they can survive. And, and to and think that and to think that the richest people in this country in this fucking country were the ones who were milking the most of our resources ano po yung tulong na particular na pinaplano ninyo para sa mga mahihirap na apekta maapektuhan po nito mr president bigas Total, maraming reklamo bigas na hindi na, you know, even if we spend all the money, all the money, mapunta sa mga tao pagkain, para sa akin yun na yung pinaka ano. Ano pa mga kung walang trabaho, sabi mo walang ikuna, nothing is moving. Every country is closing its borders. Nobody gets out. There, there is no product uh, uh, produced. Productions are slowed down. So we'll just have to fend for our own. Ngayon sabi na maraming bigas hindi na. Bilihin na natin ang bigas. Malugi tayo. Malugi tayo. Maubos yung pera natin, ubusin natin para pagkain sa may hirap. Kukulangin pa yan. Milyon ang Pilipino na walang <coughs> trabaho niyan. Good evening, Ms. Beria Carriazo from Bandera. Good evening, Mr. President. Sir, may proposal po si Congressman uh, Salceda na mag-declare ng lockdown dito sa NCR for at least one week. Kino-consider po ba natin ito kagaya sa uh, ginawa sa Italy kung saan 16 million residents yung affected? Lockdown, no one comes in or goes out? Yes, sir. We have not reached that kind of contamination. Iisa-isa mm -hmm. lang... With this uh, transmission, you want to close down the economy at this time. There will be a time, I suppose. I hope not. I hope God will have mercy on, on the Filipino people. There might be a time, but at this time you want me to. It's too early. Hindi ko sila sabi na. Bakit hintayin mo ba magkasakit lahat? It's not that. But you have to balance. Eh, wala na magpasok ng bigas. Wala na magpasok ng mga gasolina. I-lockdown o. Patay ang... 
maybe kung yung lugar na pinuntahan ng mga Pilipino, magsabi ka ang namatay doon, mag-abot na ng 20,000. O sa isang lugar, may uh, 5,000. Sigurado, I will lock. Hindi lang lock in. Ilock ko talaga kanina. Uh. Sir, another question po. Sir, paano po natin i-address yung kakulangan ng testing kit? Considering uh, inadmit po ni Secretary Duque na hindi problema yung, ah, hindi, wala sila sa underreporting kundi yung problem sa resources. May well, limited tayo sa uh, testing kit ng well, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the kit is there. It's kind of, uh, to my understanding, it's a kit that can be distributed to the different health workers and they can do it. But at, the, at, at this time, kung kulang, they, they're always brought to a testing station. I do not know how, how, how they would term the, the facility. RITM. 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 It's where they are uh, being... Uh, kunti lang kasi, oh. But uh, the kit... Uh, 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 the kit is not the kit. Wala, wala, lumalabas pa. So, may enough naman, sir, in case na tumaas pa yung bilang ng mga oh, tinatamaan ng ano? I think COVID. that uh, the, uh, sabi ko nga, in every, not generation, but epoch, maybe meron yung noong una bubonic plague, yung sa Middle East, parang, yun, yung mga gagago ang tao naman, parang, tamang-tama lang. Tapos yung uh, Spanish flu. Right before or be, after the war, the Second World War. Kawawa <coughs> uh, yung mga tao. Pero mas kawawa yung sa Middle East. The so-called Roman Empire. You, 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 you have read the Inquisition? Kung may birthmark ka, you are a witch and you are born at stake. Miss yes. Chawana Yu of Radio Inquirer. Hi, sir. Good evening. Just a follow-up on Belia's question. Are you satisfied with the response of the DOH sa COVID-19 considering na every minute tumataas yung bilang ng mga yeah. kaso. You cannot prevent it. Mm -hmm. Yung contamination, if it is passed from one person to another, you cannot, you cannot prevent it. Mm -hmm. At saka hindi mo mahabol. Because while he is still alive, mm -hmm. if he's still around, hindi pa lumabas yung ano, he has gone to so many places, shook hands with everybody. Mm -hmm. Eight, uh, with friends. Hindi, 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 walang satisfaction yung ano. Trabaho lang tayo. And sir, hindi natin malaman kung ilan ang mamatay. So, when, when does satisfaction come in? Ayun, kung ang mamatay, 40 na lang. 50. Or it wipes out the whole town. There is no way of. We have done everything in preparation. Nandyan na lahat. Police of their health workers. Tayo naman dito. We formulate the rules. Follow. Now, there are rules to follow here. The problem with Xavi Co. Filipinos, if you start to break the rules, then you have the problem compounded for everybody. May mga rules eh, batas, eh, hindi mo sundin. So, eh? Sir, another question. Will you still push through with your visit to Boracay to promote your local tourism? Look, 
I am not going to Boracay itself. I ordered the cleaning of Boracay. Si General Anyo pati General Sumato. Ya, sekretari niya sila. Malinis na. Eh, si Berna. Wala naman tao pumupunta doon. Pero ako, I'm going there because I declared the island of Boracay as a land reform area. Yung likod mismo ng mga beach na tinitignan ng mga maglagay ng cottage, maglagay ng kung ano-ano. Sabi la, Mayor, ang plano namin uh, to resort. Sabi la, you just wait after the cleanup. After the cleanup, I told Castriones, prepare the proclamation. I declared it land reform area. So I gave it to the natives. Then further inside the island, pina, sabi ko, ubusin mo. Ubusin mo ang barak, burakay sa mga natives. Ibigay mo sa kanila kasi lupa nila yan. Thank you, sir. Yung Boracay, ayawang ko. Wala pa naman nag-apply. Kaya mag-apply, ibigay ko yan. If somebody would claim it as a land reform area, and if it is valid to me, I will give it to them. Total yung nag-operate dyan, nagsugal dyan, bawi na yan sila sa kapital. Sir, I ask that question because Secretary Puyat said that you will visit Boracay to promote local tourism amid the coronavirus. Yes, because there are no people. Tunggu lagi si Siberna. Kalau ada yang pun tak sabi, kau sih yang pun tak aku, perlu meligo tayo. Ada to, ada ini kita ini kita bastos. Adik saya sangat, anu tawaknya. Feminist, ano? Sabi ko, sige, maligo tayo. Sabi ko, alam mo na, yung ligo tayo na may also have something to look at. If you look at the open sea, it's endless. Mabubulag ka. But, pero na, what... Sit beside me on a sunset. I will stay. Totoo, hindi pa ako nakapunta ng Boracay. Nilinis ko kasi madumi raw. Nung malinis na, they put up there, thank you, Mayor Duterte, salam. Sabi ko, let's see. Thank you, sir. Noon, napag-umpisa ko, karaming daldalin nyo. Uh, yung mga punta doon. Sa likod ako pumunta, bukid. Yung land reform mm -hmm. area. Mr. President, Ms. Sandra Aguinaldo of GMA7 will ask her question. Hi, sir. On VFA po, uh, we'd like to ask for your reaction on the move of uh, some senators led by the Senate President to go to the Supreme Court to ask the Supreme Court to compel you to um, get the concurrence of the Senate in terminating the VFA. What is your reaction, sir? They, they cannot compel me. I refuse to be compelled. I have terminated it. Tapos ang problema ko. Wala na ako problema yan. In so far as I'm concerned, we are beginning to count the 180 days for them to pack up and go. I am not reneging on the BFA and I am not going to America. 
to discuss this with anybody. Though I respect highly of Trump, and uh, if that was a political move by the senators to win the Filipino votes there, I'm telling the Filipino now, you are get, get, getting the best of deal with Trump. Kaya dyan sa leftist ang ano eh. Obama was a leftist. Halos ibigay na lang nila yung ano, expense sa ibang tao. Yeah, to the Filipinos, uh, if you perchance uh, eh, lumabas ito, bumoto kayo kay Trump. And they say that I am interfering. Of course, I'm interfering. Tell that to the Americans. Huh? That Duterte is insisting in interfering. Alam mo bakit? Do you know why I'm interfering? Can anybody answer my question? Kasi sila ang nag-una kung ano-anong pinag-extrajudicial killing. Taos 70,000. Saan nakalibing yung 20,000? Na mag-headcount kami doon sa... Kung may matay dyan na, na binaril. Extrajudicial killing. Kita mo, bumaba na ngayon ang droga, at least. Hindi na takot mag yung mga tao sa bahay nila. I have returned the streets to the people. Kasi yung public places are intended for law-abiding citizens. And if it is na hindi na maka ang mga bata, takot na. And they are nervous. Especially the working girls, mga sales guardians sa mga mall. Mag, alam mo ba ang buhay ng... Tang, alam mo ba ang buhay niya mo yan? Mag-abot yan ng bahay nila mga alas 11, alas 12. Maglaba pa yan. Magluto ng pagkain. Para ba kinabukasan. Matulog yan, dalawa tatlong oras. Gigising yan... Bihisan yung mga bata, ihatod sa tapos barabarahin mo pa ng para lang sa siyabo. Patayin mo isang tao. Yung sa Dabao, check it out. You have your stations there. May pinatay na dyan sa squatters area sa Boulevard. She was the parang supervisor ng itong gym ng babae. So she had to be early. Pagdaan niya sa isang bahay, dinampot lang siya sa loob. Nahulog yung pagkain niya, mainit pa. <clears throat> yung mga babae na yan, or anybody for that matter, similarly situated. Yan ang ano lang. Mayroon silang kanin, magbili lang nila sa ulam, isang ulam sa labas. Tapos pag uwi sa gabi, patayin mo pa. Mr. President, Ms. Joyce Bulancio of DZMM will ask her question. Good evening, Mr. President. Uh, your presidential security group is, uh, they said that they will be implementing a no-touch policy on you, but earlier we saw you shaking hands with some cabinet members as well as other uh, people present here. Is, does that mean you're not, you do not want that policy? No. 
Correct. Why, sir? I want an embrace. Why only a handshake? <laughs> cool lang yan. Ano mo lang, ayun, pisin niya, tapos sila, sige, gakus-gakus ng babae, tapos, why, do you think Panelo is not holding the hands of the women, you know? So you don't see the need, Mr. President, to follow such protocol? Ah, kalukuhan niya, putol-putol. I will shake hands. Uh, anak, ilang kong mang sinasabi na sa iyo, na kung tawagin na ako ng Diyos ngayon, oras na ito, pupunta na ako. Tapos na ako. Naging presidente na ako. Pinakamataas na uh, maabot ng isang tao. Mga anak ko, okay na. But sir, how about your public appearances? I believe your partner, Ms. Hanalet, is also urging you to avoid going to public, um, crowded places, also to avoid being affected with COVID-19. Nitrabaho ko yan eh. Kanat. Pera na lang kung yung mga participants sila matakot. Makot, tatanungin ko sila. Matakot pala kayo mong matay. Buti sana kung mayaman. So, Wala mong kami pera. So, Mr. President, you will not be declining invitations to events that's supposed to happen? No, I will not decline invitations. Okay. I will shake hands with everybody. I am going to Mindanao to visit my dead soldiers. If, I, if they are still there. And to congratulate my warriors. Thank you, Mr. President. Matayan ako tatlong apat na sundalo ko. Mr. President, Ms. Tricia Terada of CNN Philippines will ask the last question for the night. Hi, President. Good evening. Um, sir, back on COVID-19, um, we still have low water supply, but then uh, the DOH is also um, requesting the public to observe proper hygiene. Uh, how can we do this, sir? Especially for the poor communities na priority po nila makabili ng pagkain over buying sanitary supplies. How are we going to reconcile, sir, our problem with low water supply and um, this um, encouragement or uh, message from DOH? I am not an economist, but uh, Secretary Lopez is here. But it would take uh, a discussion of how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, lang yan, the law of supply and demand first. No, uh, sir, how about uh, yung water supply, sir? Any assurance, sir, na magkakaroon tayo ng stable water supply, especially, sir, in um, poor communities? I am forcing the issue, yung dam sa Kaliwa, Waka ang Bawa. Because if I do not do it in the next two years, magpalasot, ang mayor ng, uh, a, a presidente ng Pilipinas, Papatay, pang, pang apat ngayon galing sa akin, papatay ng Pilipino kasi walang tubig. I will, I will force the issue. And, and I, I will battle with them in court. And I hope that the judges and the justices would understand. Talagang hindi rin ako magpapigil. Kasi kung magpapigil ako, wala kayong tubig yung apo ninyo. Pipilitin ko talaga yan. I will, I will force the issue. I said, I will fight all the way. Sir, but at least for this year or for the time that we are um, fighting COVID-19, can we assure the public that there will be enough water supply? 
Ah, may, meron yan. 2020, meron yan. Sigurado ako. Basta kung walang distribution, I'm warning you. I'm warning everybody. I will industrialize the water industry. And government will do the construction. And we will force the issue. <coughs> Kasi hindi, hindi madala ng legal-legal yung tubig, pati pagkain. I don't believe uh, the issues will just screw you, but thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. That ends the press conference for tonight. <laughs>